Hello everybody and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. We have been talking a lot about organ flows moving and happily along. And um, if you studied other modalities, they are our pathways are very similar to the meridians. Master Marai did his own research and that's why sometimes we see a slight deviation, but they're very, very similar. So sometimes these pathways or meridians where they're have happily flowing along and descending the body, um, they can move over to the other side and colli can collide with another um, organ flow. So for example, this can happen when we, let's say we do a lot of arm exercises or leg exercises and we have these pathways moving, for example, large intestine is moving here, small intestine is moving here and they can come close together at some point and start to collide and merge and do a thing and cause some disharmony. So Master Marai gave us a very simple solution for this and it's similar to a supervisor flow, which you all know from the art of Jinshin or from the core. So this is slightly different and this was in his notes and he gave this as a solution for, for different situations. And this is one of them. When we're talking about the descending flows starting to intermingle or to merge and can cause disharmony, um, he gave this simple little flow. So let's start by placing our hands on the 12, location number 12. And stay where you feel uh, the need is, which one feels better, which one feels a little bit tighter or fuller. 12 is a powerful location. It clears the waistline, it harmonizes and calms our mind. And so while you're holding this, you know, just drop your shoulders and then place your other hand on 22. So when these descending uh, flows start to merge, collide, it can cause projects in different areas of the body. So with this little flow, we're clearing all of these areas so we don't have to worry about it. However, if you have the depth, take a look at the organ flows and start to understand where they're colliding and why they're causing projects. The art of Jinshin is a study about ourselves, about our bodies and understanding the movement of energy and where we can get this harmonized. And it has very much to do uh, with our lifestyle, with stress, uh, dietary habits, environment, uh, and also can be genetic or, or older trauma. So many reasons why we uh, in our individual body as individuals, as human beings can get out of harmony. And so this simple flow will bring us back into harmony. So let's take a breath here. 22 is wonderful for all respiratory projects. It allows for energy to descend, exhale down the front. While 12 on the back helps energy to ascend into the head. And then there is a cross at the back of the head. That's why we're holding uh, the back of one side, the 12 of one side, and moving down the front on the other side. There is this cross, so there's this kind of thing going on. When we start to understand the supervisor, the action of the mediator, we will begin uh, to understand this more. But if you are not there yet and you're just start working with the Art of Jinshin book, then you can just follow along these simple steps. Let's take one more breath and then we'll move our hand to 13, which is at the third rib clearing our chest line, harmonizing our emotions. So you will find that either this one was very comfortable or maybe this one is even more comfortable and whatever feels good for you, you can spend a little bit more time because that is most likely exactly what you need. So just keep your hands there, okay? When you, if you're studying with the Art of Jinshin, you also see the supervisor flow and it's like this, 11 and 15, 11 and 25, right? 11 and 15, the growing and 11 and 25. So this helps one side of the body. And here we're actually doing a supervisor with the other side of the body. So, so we know that the supervisor helps 
one side of the body. Actually, if we would do the full supervisor flow, we work up this side of the back. And that flow is in the core textbook. So all these books really do come together. And um, I really recommend that you take a look at these flows and start to understand them. Again, if you're not interested, you can just simply practice along and practice this little flow every day. And then we'll move our hand from 13 to 14 here, harmonizing our waistline. Um, very important, our waistline, because that has a lot to do with our individual energy, our individual energy and our mind, calming our mind harmonizing our digestive system, but also the digestion of food, of problems in our life, of stress. Um, so 14 is important. And as I'm talking about it, I feel my hands getting warm and that's the energy movement. You may experience that too, that sometimes your hands will get warm or you can feel for a pulsation. And then we'll move our hand to 15, which is right here in the groin area and 15 harmonizes our hip line. So when these energies that are descending start to merge, they can merge at different places. It can be at the chest line, the waistline or the hip line. And so if you know, then you can work more um, specifically with those areas. And if you are not exactly sure, you can practice this little flow and harmonize all of these areas. So after we practice this, we can practice a quick form of the main center source. So place your right hand on top of the head and the left hand between the eyebrows, taking one full breath and then moving your hand to the tip of the nose. One full breath, then to the V of the neck, one full breath. The middle of the sternum, one full breath. Base of the sternum, one full breath. The big bone, one full breath. And your right hand comes off and you can place it on the tailbone and one full breath. So Kato Senso, Sensei, he always practiced um, a form of the main center source after the other flows that he did, the other flows working on the with the supervisor and mediator energy. Please place your hands together and fold your fingers, keeping your middle finger up, connecting us to source. So main center source is really for daily maintenance. Um, after ever, anything you practice, you can practice a form or a quick form of the main center source or a long form, depending how much time you have. So keep studying, everybody. Keep practicing. And thank you so much for joining this Wellness Wednesday. I always like to see your comments. And um, so please subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Thank you all and see you next week.